Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems, I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher. So we've got a super short but powerful Kundalini Yoga practice today. It's a great warm up if you're preparing for a deeper, longer meditation, or if you just don't have time, you only got 10 minutes to spare. This Kundalini Yoga practice will set you up for a great day ahead. So bring your palms together, give them a good rub, and bring your Premudra into the heart center. Take a deep inhale, tall through the spine. Keep that length as you exhale and relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale deep to lift the chest. And exhale to bring the chin in towards the neck. Let's inhale to tune in with our mantras. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in for now. Om Namo Take a deep inhale. All that breath in as you invite your higher self to guide you through your practice today to keep you safe from injury and to keep you focused. Exhale, relax the hands down to the knees and Gyan Mudra index fingers touching thumbs, just allowing those mantras to settle in the body, in the mind. And we're going to start off this little mini Kundalini booster with Ego Eradicator. So fingertips onto tops of palms, extend the arms up and out, thumbs point straight up to the sky. And it's a breath of fire here. <laughs> So breath of fire, our panting breath through the nose. If you're new to breath of fire or if it feels a little bit too much for you today, just slow it down to a long, slow, deep breath. We're just priming the auric field, getting our electromagnetic field nice and energized with this posture. So keep your elbow straight, keep the arms nice and strong. Breath of fire is a very cleansing breath, a very energizing breath. So it really sets us up for a very great, dynamic, active day ahead. Keep the eyes locked into the third eye point in the center of the brow, just above the eyebrows. And take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you bring the thumbs to touch above the head, squeeze more bun. So you're squeezing anus and sex organs, pulling the navel in and feeling, sensing, imagining that energy moving from tailbone up the spine to the crown of the head. Open the fingers out wide, stretch the hands out wide, keep the, th the thumb tips touching and exhale. Comb the hands down through the auric field, bring the fingertips to the earth and just relax here, grounding through the fingertips, feel the weight of the physical body, feel the ground beneath you. Now we're going to continue our activation through the auric field, inhaling the hands up with the palms together above the head, exhaling the hands down with the palms facing away from each other. So you're turning your palms in the direction of the movement, inhaling up, exhaling down and this aura sweep is a really great practice for every single day just to build up this lovely energetic field around the body to cleanse this auric field and to build up the protection that it offers you it offers a very lovely psychic protection keeps you safe from negative energies as well as little rogue viruses that might be around so building up with this breath with the movement keeping the arms straight Keeping the eyes at the third eye point. Shh. 
that's it nice and strong with the breath and the movement imagining that you're windscreen wipering your energetic field just releasing any pollutants any toxicity from the auric field any negative entities or attachments just giving yourself a lovely spring clean inhale up hold that breath squeeze more buns stretch up through the spine stretch up through the arms into the fingertips stretch and exhale float the hands down to the knees now gyan mudra so index fingers to thumbs and just feel settle your way into the afterglow of that lovely cleansing aura sweep sensing the expansion of energy around you inhaling exhaling good let's move that energy through the body with the spinal flex inhaling forward exhaling back nice full deep movement full deep breath as you open up through each of the 26 vertebrae good keep the eyes rolled up and into the third eye point keep the navel strong to the spine just to protect the spine not extend overextend the spine particularly if you're very flexible in the lower back the chin stays roughly parallel to the floor and you're going at your own pace if you're feeling slow and steady today slow it down if you're feeling even faster than i'm going move it with a dynamic breath really opening up the spine opening up the chakra system getting the energy flowing through the trunk of the body good hands up onto the knees now as you continue this movement continue the flex opening the spine to the front to the back moving as deep as the spine will allow keeping the navel engaged that helps to intensify this little passive massage on the digestive system getting the digestive juices flowing that's it these spinal flexes are great for keeping the spine youthful and supple also excellent to keep the chakra system aligned and balanced lovely movement for the chakras come into the center now deep inhale hold that breath in squeeze more buns stretch up tall lengthen and exhale relax release turn the palms to face up gyan mudra and just settle into the afterglow again of that beautiful movement and breath how it feels in the body inhale deep exhale fully now we'll bring our hands onto our shoulders fingers at the front thumbs at the back and we'll inhale twist to the left exhale twist to the right again you want your navel really strong for this one to protect the spine the eyes are rolled up and into the ajna the elbows are lifted grateful releasing stagnant energy in the spine and also to open up the heart to open up the circulatory system that's it keep it going strong navel supporting the spine coming into the center deep inhale hold that breath squeeze more buns stretch up tall through the spine lengthen exhale relax release floating hands down to knees gyan mudra just staying present noticing this incremental blossoming of energy in the body and incremental awakening of your consciousness 
inhaling deep exhaling fully and for our final little burst of kundalini energy we're going to just give ourselves a shake out so shake out your hands shake out your arms shake out your shoulders shake out your head if you want to release your legs out in front of you and give them a good shake shake it shake it shake it loose shake your hips that's it shake your ears <laughs> shake your elbows shake your shoulders shake everything your hips your knees your feet shake it shake it all out and remember to breathe as you shake so you're just shaking out any little bubbles of tension in the body leave no cell unturned keep it shaking keep it breathing keep it moving there's nothing like a good shake to waken ourselves up to awaken our kundalini that's it to release tension to release stress it's a very natural movement to get rid of any excess energy in the body any unhelpful energy in the body and take a deep inhale stretch up and exhale float the hands down to gyan mudra and we'll just rest here for a moment allowing those energies to settle feeling the rapid heartbeat feeling the ragged breath tuning in with yourself this awareness that we find between every kundalini yoga movement is the real gem of kundalini yoga it brings us into a connection to ourself so no matter how short your practice is if you have connected to yourself in this way you have done your work take a deep inhale exhale fully and another deep inhale just to slow the heartbeat exhale fully and one more for good measure deep inhale and exhale let's bring our palms together in our prayer mudra feel that connection between the palms feel the spine straight the shoulders relaxed chin tucked in eyes at third eye and we'll chant our sat nam just to seal this warm-up kundalini yoga practice mini booster Sa And bow your chin to your chest, offering your gratitude to your body and mind and breath for bringing you into this Kundalini Yoga practice today, sending that gratitude out as far as it will go into your life. And coming back whenever you feel ready. Satnam, thank you for joining me on this very short and sweet Kundalini Yoga practice. If you're going on to do a longer meditation, this is a perfect warm up. If it's just to see you through the day to give you a little kundalini fix before you head out. That's perfect too. Satnam, I hope you have a beautiful day. And if you liked it, please do click like. If you would like to see more, please do subscribe. Generally, I teach a longer practice, but here we go for those who need it. Satnam, lots of love.